great features of Design Center is its integration with the listing information that comes from the MLS that is fed into LeadStream. So when a listing is put into the MLS and you enter the photos and text, that information is going to be sent over into LeadStream. Once that listing and the photos have hit LeadStream, you have an MLS integration into Design Center. And what that means is based on the project type that you're selecting, you'll be able to automatically have the photos and the text from your listing in the MLS automatically be put into, say, a flyer or a postcard, whatever it may be. This is a great time saver and a way to not duplicate efforts and to streamline the process much further. So to access that integration between your listing information and the projects is very, very easy. The first place I'm gonna show you is in Design Center. Towards the end of the video, I'll be able to show you how to access Design Center through Lead Street as well. So based on the project type that we're creating, we're gonna have that MLS integration once we select a project type. Now keep in mind that this will not work for every different project type, such as a digital listing presentation, since obviously we don't have a listing on the MLS yet. But for something that's say like a flyer, where we're putting a, a new listing flyer out, we can absolutely capitalize on that integration. So I'm gonna select flyer. And let's go ahead and for time's sake, let's do the for sale flyer in the top left corner here. If I select that flyer and go to select this design, and we're gonna name it quickly. And we're gonna put it in a folder. That is something that you do have to do. Now this is a key part of the MLS integration that many agents don't realize is there. So you can see it says this design allows listing photos and text to be imported. So it says import photos and text from which listing. So this is gonna have all of my listings and I can go ahead and choose whichever one. Let's just go ahead and select this one. And now what it's gonna do is when we go to hit save and continue, it's gonna automatically put in the photos and text from the MLS. So I'll hit save and continue. Before you do that though, you do need to acknowledge that some of the photos and text may get cut off. Uh, you know, if you have 40 photos on the MLS, only a handful are gonna show on this project type. So you're just acknowledging that some of it may get cut off. Always double check to make sure that sentences aren't getting cut off and you have the photos you want. So we're gonna hit confirm. And now it's automatically putting those photos and text into the project in real time. All right, and you can see this particular uh, design type only allows for fo four photos, so it's only taken four photos from the MLS. If you wanted to take other photos, you could upload those, you could just delete these, and you could upload a new one from your computer, and that would allow you to customize this a little bit more. If you wanted to rearrange these, you, you could of course drag and drop. Now moving over to the text section, let me hit save and continue here. You can see the address, city, state, zip code, beds, square footage, the body copy is all coming over from the MLS automatically. This is a huge time saver. Uh, all I would encourage you to do is double check to make sure nothing got cut off. You can add any additional information or edit from here as well. Uh, so if I wanted to uh, cut out the last sentence or so, I could do that and go ahead and hit save and continue. And then you go through the rest of the process. So that is a very, very easy way to uh, make everything move a little bit faster and not duplicate efforts. So that's through Design Center. Now, if you wanted to access that same content and information and say you happen to be in Lead Street and don't have your Design Center open, I just wanna show you how to navigate to Design Center very quickly. So from the top left menu bar, if I select um, Remax Design Center, I can go in this way, I can go into my dashboard. I can also go in through my listings and a lot of agents don't realize this. So maybe I'm in my listings. So if I hit the listings drop down, I go to Listing Manager and I have all of my listings here. And if I hit the little gear icon in the top left corner of each listing, you can go out to Design Center that way. So I'll show you how that works as well. So it's going to link up with Design Center. And now we're back into Design Center 
and we can use that integration. Either way, it's going to take you to Design Center. You're going to select your project type. You're going to select that property address from the drop down, and the process works the same. But we just wanted to show you that you can access it both from Design Center and Lead Street. I encourage you every chance you get to use that integration to help save time and, as I said earlier, not duplicate efforts. Thank you.